The United Nations, also called UN, is an intergovernmental organization that aims to maintain international peace and security, develop friendly relations among nations, achieve international cooperation, and be a center for harmonizing the action of nations. The UN headquarters is in New York City. Other main offices are in Geneva, Nairobi, Vienna, and The Hague. The UN was established after World War II with the aim of preventing future wars, succeeding the ineffective League of Nations. On 25 April 1945, 50 governments met in San Francisco for a conference and started drafting the UN Charter, which was adopted on 25 June 1945 and took effect on 24 October 1945, when the UN began operations. Pursuant to the Charter, the organization's objectives include maintaining international peace and security, protecting human rights, delivering humanitarian aid, promoting sustainable developments and upholding international law. At its founding, the UN had 51 member states. This number grew to 193 in 2011, representing the vast majority of the world's sovereign states. Due to the powers vested in its charter and its unique international character, the United Nations can take action on the issues confronting humanity in the 21st century, such as peace and security, climate change, sustainable developments, human rights, disarmament, terrorism, humanitarian and health emergencies, gender equality, governance, food production, and more. The UN also provides a forum for its members to express their view in the General Assembly, the Security Council, the Economic and Social Council, and other bodies and committees. By enabling dialogue between its members and by hosting negotiation, the organization has become a mechanism of governments to find areas of agreement and solve problems together. The General Assembly, which is the main deliberative organ, decides on peace and security, the UNO's budget, admission of new members and all matter within the scope of the UNO Charter. The vote is allowed to each member regardless of its wealth and size. The decision taken by the Assembly becomes simple resolution and are not legally binding on member states. Much of its work is done through committees and it's carried out in five official languages of the UNO English, Russian, French, Chinese and Spanish. The Security Council is a sort of executive organ made up of 15 members. Its main role is to deal with all threats to peace and the size of peacekeeping missions. There are permanent seats and elected seats in the Security Council. The former belong to the five great powers with the right of veto, the US, Russia, Britain, France and China. The latter are elected for two-year terms by the General Assembly. Unlike the General Assembly, the decisions taken by the Security Council are legally binding on member states. The Secretariat is embodied by the Secretary General, who is appointed by the General Assembly on recommendation of the Security Council for a term of five years. It administers and coordinates the various activities and provides studies, information and facilities needed by the UNO. The International Court of Justice sits at The Hague, in the Netherlands and not at the UN Hall headquarters in New York. Its 15 judges are chosen jointly by the Security Council and the General Assembly, a third of term retiring every three years. 
The Economic and Social Council supervises the organization's work in the economic, social and education files and coordinates the activities of the specialized agencies. The UNO specialized agencies are World Health Organization, which combats disease and promotes cooperation and knowledge in matters of health, Food and Agriculture Organization, which deals with economic cooperation and the rise in standards of nutrition for developing countries around the world, United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, also called UNESCO, promotes education and carries out cultural and scientific projects. United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, also called UNICEF, focuses on the welfare of children in developing countries. And International Monetary Fund, which deals with financial matters. MUN, also called Model United Nation, is an extracurricular activity in many schools and universities where students assume the roles of countries and organizations represented in the United Nation in specific committees and debate about issues concerning the world. The United Nation was formed at the end of the Second World War. It was preceded by a similar organization known as the League of Nations. During 1920s at the University of Harvard, students and teachers of international relations and politics courses created a simulation known as a Model League of Nations, where students would represent the League of Nations and debate subjects like colonization, war and empire debates. After World War II, once the United Nations was established, Harvard replaced the Model League of Nations with the Model United Nations, MUN. Soon after, schools in New York began to follow that trend, and by the mid-1950s, all the Ivy League universities in the United States held their own MUN conference. In the 1960s, MUN became popular in schools rather than just universities, and in 1968, a teacher at the American School of the HIG, Mr. Paul Sands, founded the HIG International Model United Nations Conference. This conference began for four schools in the HIG, being the French School, the British School, the American School, and the German School. By the mid-1980s, Thai Moon became one of the largest and most popular conferences in the world, and today it welcomes 4,500 students from all over the world to participate in a structured UN-styled debate in a variety of committees. The aims of a MUN conference are to encourage debate and sharing of views between students from different schools and of different ethnicities. The ultimate goal of a MUN conference is to promote awareness of international relations and issues in young people and to inspire global mindedness and an understanding to the problems of the world and how to combat them. While it's providing an atmosphere where students can progress in their communication skills and open mindedness. This would allow students an insight to further their understanding and learning of politics in a global and international manner.